Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will bypass a defrost heat pump board to allow for cooling during the summer. The first thing that we do is identify the relay um, where the condenser fan motor is connected. These leads here would go all the way to the condenser fan motor. Ensure that the electricity to the unit is completely off, including the indoor thermostat or the indoor unit. Make sure the electricity is killed as well. Once we've identified this relay and then we've killed the electricity, disconnect these two wires that go to the condenser fan. Jumper those out. It doesn't really matter how you do it. You can cut them and use a wire nut if you must, or if you have anything that you can to jumper those out. In this application, I'd wire it, I'd tape that up nice. Uh, the reason for this is because the defrost board completes the circuit to the condenser fan. So we want to make sure that, that that will receive power at all times. Next, we take our contactor. The two wires go into the contactor. It doesn't really matter um, if you disconnected the board. You can put new wires if you want to. But the two wires that go to the contactor, what we need to do is we need to disconnect the yellow wire coming from the indoor thermostat. Connect it to one. On the other we're looking here, the, uh, our designations are down here. We have a uh, common Y, W, R, and O. Once we have that connected, we take the other side and connect it to our common, which is our C. Now right now, I'm just gonna, gonna put these on here for, you know, just, just for a second, because um, what we have to do, the other thing that's gonna need to go on this is our wire for our reversing valve. The two reversing valve wires are located here, these two orange wires. These will also need to connect to your common. So what we're going to do is you can either, you can cut those anywhere. We'll tie them back together later on. To the reversing valve, it doesn't matter which goes where, Easiest way to do this is if all we're doing here is bypassing for air conditioning, just hook it to air conditioner. That's the easiest thing. So we've got the um, contactor for the cooling and the reversing valve all jumpered together. That's one. The common back from the reversing valve and the common from the contactor will connect to the common from the thermostat. Now, if there were any high or low pressure switches, you could wire those in series as well, if you, if you so desired. Um, that would be a better way of doing it. But this right here will allow this unit to run in cooling when we've completely bypassed our defrost board here. That's all we have to do. Just a contactor, reversing valve, and condenser fan. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned while I introduce the super cool slide rule. It is the coolest tool in air conditioning, guaranteed to save you a lot of money by saving you a lot of time. Thank you. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation lined metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. 
And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.